Hello! What is up everybody? It's morning here where I am and that's because I'm gonna make bagels. Um, normally I make bagels at night but my sourdough starter was it just wasn't ready so I fed it last night it's ready this morning we're gonna make bagels throughout the day it is what it is that's okay um, also, hi, welcome. If you're new here, my name is Linnea. I live in the suburbs and we are semi self sufficient where we garden, we can, we do sourdough, we make all kinds of fun recipes. So, it's very loud outside. <laughs> There's an airplane. Um, so, if that's something you're interested in, consider subscribing. If not, thanks for being here. Welcome. If you're not new here, welcome back. Hi. So, First thing we're gonna do, just, just gonna go check on my sourdough starter, make sure it's all right, make sure it's ready, um, and then we're gonna make some sourdough bagels, all right? Okay, in this mixing bowl, I have 250 fan. 255 grams of water which is basically equal to a little bit over one cup of water and I'm gonna add a hundred grams of active starter which is about a half cup so that's what I'm gonna do right now All right, now I'm going to add two tablespoons of honey, or you could do sugar. I'm just guesstimating this because it doesn't really matter. <laughs> now I'm going to add two teaspoons of salt. And I'm going to mix it together. Alright, now I'm going to add four cups of bread flour. You can use any kind of flour you want. Um, I've used all purpose and it, it works fine. I'm going to mix this for six to eight minutes. All right, this has been going for probably eight minutes now. Um, all you have to do now is cover this dough, let it sit for eight to 12 hours, and then we'll move on to the next step. So after dinner tonight is when I'll be making bagels. All right. I'll see you guys in a little while. Bye. It has been a little over eight hours, so I'm gonna dump this out, separate it into eight pieces, and then actually shape the bagels. Thank you. 
10 more times. And I have a piece of parchment paper on a cookie sheet over here. Um, and I'm gonna let these sit out for 30 minutes to an hour to let them rise one more time. And then we'll be back to move on to the next step. Bagels really are one of the easiest things I feel that you can make with sourdough, besides bread, obviously. Alright, it's been probably about 45 minutes, and here, let me see if I can show you the bagels. I did restretch them so there's more of a hole, um, but... I have water boiling with one tablespoon of sugar in it, and I'm going to put four bagels in at a time, I'll let them boil for two minutes per side. So. I also have the oven preheated to 425 degrees. All right, so I just pulled these out of the boiling water. I put cheese on four of them. These four were just doing plain because I have pumpkin cream cheese. Um, a word of advice, if you do put cheese on your bagels, don't be greedy and put a bunch of cheese on. I have done that and it, it like ruins them. So um, yeah, just, just go kind of light. Anyway, like I said, I have the oven preheated to 425. And I'm going to bake these for about 23-ish minutes. And then I'm going to go for a run. All right. There's the bagels. Um, I am honestly, we're not going to try these tonight. Um, because it is almost 8 o'clock and I need to go for my run. Um, but this is a perfect breakfast for in the morning and I will have Jonathan give these a try for everyone in the morning, probably. Um, so I will see everyone in the morning. Good night. Okay, so we both had bagels this morning for breakfast and Jonathan decided to make himself a bagel sandwich for lunch. <laughs> Um, these are like the best bagels ever. I'm, I, mm -hmm. I feel like they really are. We're gonna, we, I am going to make them again next weekend for your sister because we're going on a little fun activity and she loves the bagels, especially the ones with the cheese. So I would highly recommend these bagels. Yeah, is it good as mm -hmm. a sandwich? Yeah, it's really good. All right, well. That's going to be the end of this video then. And we'll see you guys in the next one with Calvin. Bye.